When most people think of Parkinson's, they think of its movement-related or motor symptoms, which include stiffness, tremor, and a gradual loss of voluntary movement. But there are many other symptoms, some of which begin years before diagnosis that are unrelated to movement. They include reduction in or loss of sense of smell, gastrointestinal issues like constipation, problems sleeping, fatigue, pain, depression, and anxiety, among others. These symptoms can significantly impact a person's quality of life. Thankfully, though, there are many treatments available to help mitigate that impact. It is critical to consult a physician or a movement disorder specialist, as everyone's case is unique. On the research side, these non-motor symptoms give us a critical window into the inner workings of Parkinson's and may help us find ways to better diagnose and treat it. Two of the best examples are loss of sense of smell and gastrointestinal problems. For instance, we know that about 90% of people with Parkinson's have a reduction in or total loss of their sense of smell years or even decades before their diagnosis. Growing evidence suggests this may be related to the earliest stages of Parkinson's when a likely combination of environmental, genetic, and epigenetic factors trigger changes that lead to neurodegeneration. One of these changes involves a protein called alpha-synuclein, which transforms from a normal version of itself into a toxic one. In Parkinson's, abnormal copies of alpha-synuclein begin to stick together, clogging up cells and likely interfering with the normal processes that keep cells healthy. The result is cell damage and death, which ultimately is believed to cause Parkinson's symptoms. Research has shown that these proteins can move from cell to cell. From the nose, they travel to the part of the brain that controls sense of smell. Once there, they continue to spread throughout the brain, eventually reaching the cells responsible for controlling voluntary movement. Something similar may be happening in the gut, which is also home to alpha-synuclein. Like the nose, these proteins have a direct route to the brain via one of the longest nerves in the body. The reasons behind these changes in the nose and the gut aren't entirely clear, but growing evidence suggests that exposure to inflammatory factors in the outside world, either through inhaling or ingesting them, may play a key role. These factors may build on other influences, such as genetic mutations, that predispose a person to Parkinson's. If enough of these factors build up, the scale tips and may prompt the changes that make alpha-synuclein toxic and trigger the earliest stages of the disease. Research is ongoing, but over the years, it's become clear that Parkinson's is far more than just a movement disorder. It is a complex disease with symptoms that can vary greatly from person to person with many different factors that contribute to its onset and progression. The better we can understand all of these different pieces, the better we can find ways to slow or stop it and give people more healthy years. To learn more about the Parkinson's research underway at the Institute, please visit vai.org.